What do you love most about being on a movie set? I mean, I love being able to have conversations with people that like are all working towards the same goal. And like, you know, I've, I've, I've kind of started to figure out my, my, my method of, of directing has kind of changed over the years. I used to always think that I had the best ideas and I had to like, you know, everybody had to listen to exactly what I think. And then I started to go, oh my God, I have all these really smart people around me that are like brilliant and have, you know, invested their time in this, in this vision as well. What I really should do is shape other people's ideas. You know what I mean? So like what I started to do is like, you know, it's, it's, it's like much more collaborative. So like, you know, I, I have conversations in more broad strokes with people then see what they bring back to me and then I start shaping it from there. And so I think it's, it's much more collaborative in that sense because I feel like, you know, a, a good director doesn't have to have the best ideas. They just have to recognize good ones. And so what I've started to do is I, I start to direct people to, to shape it towards something that's more like what I envisioned but while still bringing in what they brought to the table. Because people come in and they go, I got this bag of tools, I could do this, I could do this, you know, and, and actors, whatever, uh, and, and you can, can you can do that. I mean, uh, you know, when I was working with Mel on this last movie, Mel uh, saw the character much funnier than it was written, and, and, and I really loved that idea, and then him and I kind of started shaping that character together, and I think, you know, a lot of that, uh, you know, when people bring ideas to the table that work for the overall story, uh, or, or the overall look of the film, it's, it's, it's really great to be able to collaborate with them. So I think my favorite thing about uh, a film set is just having collaboration with the people that I'm working with. What is day one like on a film set for you? It's probably the most hectic day of the entire thing. <laughs> I always say it's like first day of school blues. It's like, you know, everybody's there and they're still kind of just figuring out what their place is on set. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, you've had all this prep, but like, you know, how do you, how do you, how do you work with these people in a pressure cooker? Cause like, you know, once you're on set, it's more pressure, you know, it's more, in prep, it's more like, ah, you know, it's, it's this, this, but how do we work on set when there's more pressure? And so I would say like, you know, for me, I, I kind of like to take it in more on the first day and kind of figure out like where we're at and, and figure out like the different personalities and how they mesh together. And then, uh, and then kind of work from there I uh, you know it's it's not it's not uh, it's it's more of a, a relaxed first day for me I mean we're still trying to make our day for sure but it's more of me just fully understanding you know how people are so I try to stay away from doing much harder stuff on the first day of a film shoot so that I can kind of gauge what the actual environment is because I bet you're a really good uh read of people you can you can probably walk into a room and be like okay this is this and this is this and I'm gonna be over here and yeah, I try to <laughs> I try to think like that I try to um, but like you know I who knows who knows maybe I am maybe I'm not I, I, I try to I try to be a good read of people but you know it's uh, it's the one thing about making movies is you're dealing with a lot of personalities and so like you know trying to figure out how to manage and get along with all personalities I think is one of the the jobs of the director because you know a lot of directors can be angry and this and that but I, you get more flies with honey than you do with 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 vinegar I mean uh, I, I, I I try to you know make it fun and 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 you know joke around and be playful with with the uh, people I work with except sometimes I try to annoy my DP because I think it's funny uh, but beyond that <laughs> I, I try to get along with everybody. I, I, mind you, I, I love my DP, but he, he, uh, the, most of the DPs I've worked with are very like stoic people. Like they're very like very very quiet stoic people. So I've always just been like, oh, can I annoy them? <laughs> I see. Is it a challenge? To it's it's get somewhat a of a challenge, but I did, like I'm, I'm just being playful. It's like I a see, playful. Right. No, I, I they it. know I'm joking with them. It's not sure. like I'm being mean or anything. Sure. But but it's just like you know, can I? <laughs> hmm. What about the last day? What's that like for you on set? <clears throat> the last day is usually a rush to, you know, get everything that you've kind of been trying to pick up and do stuff. So it's like one of these like like nonstop like ah and then it's like an adrenaline dump of like oh it's over. Like, you know, and you get the you get like that oh man, you wrapped and then, you know, you you have all the actors that are like, you know, saying like, goodbye and they're like, "Hey, we think we made something great." And, like they're like, you know, you know, they're they're looking to you to be reassuring that like, "Hey, job well done. We did it." Um, so it's it's, you know, it's it's 
I, w- I would imagine it's, you know, the same as like, you know, a teacher would feel when people are all graduating at the end of the, you know, at the end of the semester or whatever. It's like, you know, bye guys. Good work. Good luck with everything. Keep in touch. I mean, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'd imagine it's like that. What goes through your mind when you wrap a film and you're driving home? Sadly, it's, it's, it's probably like, thank God I can finally sleep. Um, to be honest, <laughs> I think it starts to like really come together like a week after, if that makes sense. And I start to go like, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, we did this. It's like that. But I mean, like a lot of the time, it's just like, oh, man, finally sleep. <laughs> okay, so so maybe then I should say, let's say a week after and you don't have anything booked, which has probably not been the case for a long time with you. You seem like you're very busy. <laughs> But let's just suppose you have a little bit of downtime. So once the, the fog clears and you're actually on a normal sleeping pattern, what, what goes through your mind about the film? I mean, that's, that's hard too because I'm super involved in post. So it's more so just like I'm like, okay, like, I can't wait to see this edit. And I start asking the editor who's already looking at the footage, hey, what did, you, did you see this? What are you thinking? Have you read the script? Let's start talking. I already start talking to the composer. Like I, I don't stop if that makes sense. So I stay in that world and I try to get all my thoughts going before I lose the vibe of what I had from when I was on set. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I don't, it's hard. Like I, I wish I had like a, a better thing. I mean, but it's, it's more just like, okay, we got to keep pushing this thing to the finish line. A lot of people have the, like their job ends, you know, when the movie wraps, but I spend the next five, six, seven, eight months, you know, maybe sometimes to a year working on this thing nonstop, so. I like that, so so keeping in the same headspace, the same vibe that you were on set and then taking that out there into the edit room. Yeah, trying to, there's the movie that we make before we start filming it, there's the movie that we make when we're filming it, and there's the movie that we make after we're done filming it, you know? And so like before I have all these plans and ideas and this, then there's the execution where you're like, okay, maybe 75% of that I was able to do. And then there's the, there's the, there's the post-production phase where you're like, okay, well, this is what I meant to do. And you got to remember like, okay, maybe there was the shot that you shot that was like going to count as a twofer because you swing down and swing back up and you can like, but that's something that like, maybe it's written down by the scripty. Maybe it isn't. Maybe you were moving too fast to say it. So you're trying to remember exactly how you shot this footage. And you're like, okay, the, the way I shoot footage a lot of the time also is like, I, I like a lot of coverage and certain things I do like that have to cut to another thing. So I'm like, okay, I want my editor to really know what I was thinking. Um, and how I was shooting it. Luckily, the editor of my newest movie has edited two of my movies back to back, and now this is the third movie, so he already probably looks at this footage and goes, oh, I know exactly what he was thinking because he's dealt with me twice now. (laughs) What about the fourth, which would be the audience's reaction? The audience's reaction, I, you know, I always hope that the audience is going to like the movie, um, you know, and, and I, I, you know, I definitely get excited about promoting the movie to the audience and, and excited about talking about it and, and doing, you know, the interviews to talk about the film. And, and you know, I, I'm always very grateful when people like the movie and they reach out uh, and, you know, the whole thing is, is, is moving towards the audience. Um, and that's probably the scariest part of filmmaking. Uh, you know, because it's, you put a year of your life into something and somebody could just, you know, look at it and just be like, eh, it's boring. Eh, it's this, you know, you put a year of your life into something and, you know, it's, it's, people just don't like it for whatever reason, you know, maybe they had a bad day, maybe they had a this, maybe they had a that. So for me, that's probably the scariest part. So I probably try not to think about that. (laughs) <laughs> but you strike me as the kind of person that even though you don't want to just make somebody mad that you're going to do what you're going to do regardless I try to make what I believe is going to be the best movie possible um, and my movies aren't always for everyone um, but I hope that the people that they are for will enjoy them do you actively read reviews I read all of them yeah I read all of them a lot of people say that they shouldn't that you shouldn't but I read all of them because my dad used to read me my bad reviews. He would call me and read me my bad reviews on my movies. Um, and we would laugh and he would say, no, 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 don't laugh. Well, what, you know, if you saw like, he would say, if you see like five reviews saying the same thing, 
you know, maybe that's something you can fix for the next one. You know, if you have like, so, you know, there's some stuff that's one way or another way, but I'm like, okay, well, if, if like all of these people say like the second act is super slow, maybe I should have paced that up. So maybe I can in the future kind of be cognizant of that and keep that in the back of my mind so that we have like a little bit more stuff to break that up. I mean, I'm still learning and growing. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm 29. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm still young. So I'm, I'm, I'm still finding my style and voice as a filmmaker. And I think a lot of that is, is learning and growing and, 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 and testing stuff and, and seeing what works and what doesn't. And, um, you know, and, and I'm trying to develop as a filmmaker and learn from everything that I do. So I think, you know, it's, it's important to look at the, you know, the negative reviews, even though sometimes they stink. And also, you know, I, maybe to desensitize me from people being like, ah, that sucked, you know. Right. So he, when he would do that in the beginning, would you say stop, or we, did you welcome it because you realized there was he was trying to help you in some way? I was. Just, I, I mean, my dad had a way of saying things that no matter how he said it, they were always funny. Um, so, uh, and I would always tell him to stop whatever he was doing because uh, it was, you know, incredibly annoying but also funny. Um, so probably told him to stop. Probably didn't listen. You know. <laughs> My dad was uh, my dad was just a big. He was a character. He was like a living cartoon character. Wow, that's interesting though. I mean, that's a good lesson on on being not not just learning that okay, the second act was this or that, but also being desensitized because there's so many reasons that someone's going to say what they're going to say. Yeah, there, there's not just you know they're trying to help you. There's there's different agendas. For sure, for sure. So I mean, that's you know and and. The thing that uh, my dad always said about this business is like, you know, you, you got to have thick skin. And uh, I think it's more tr true, more now than ever, because, you know, anybody can make a comment about anything now. Um, you know, it's, it's, you, 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 a trailer goes up for one of your movies, there, there's a thousand comments on it, you know, within hours nowadays. Uh, and like, you know, so it's, 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 you got to, you got to get thick skin. Um, and you got to hope that the people that do like your stuff, like your stuff, you know, and the people that don't, you know, hopefully they'll like the next one. Is it hard to let the good comments in if you have thick skin, if you've been like, okay, all right, yeah, they didn't like it, yeah, we got nah, this stuff. I totally love the good comments. People okay. that like my movies, I'm, I, for me, I mean, like, I'm, I'm like, I, I would say, like, maybe, like, I, it depends. Like, you know, I've, I've said a few times, don't watch my early movies, right? I've had people say, hey, I love your early movies. I'm like, Jesus, they must not like good movies. <laughs> like, like, oh, man, why do you like that movie? Um, but, you know, I, I, I definitely appreciate the, the good comments. I mean, the, I think a lot of people forget when they're commenting on things and saying things that, like, you know, 100 people, 200 people worked on this thing, you know, and, like, you know, the person who made it spent a year, a year and a half working on it. Uh, poured their, you know, they did the best they could. They poured the, their heart into it. Uh, I think people forget that sometimes. Um, and so I, 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 you know, it's, 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 it's very, it means a lot to me when people say they like the stuff that I do. Um, you know, it's part of what keeps me wanting to do stuff is the, the few people that have really, really reached out and said that they really like it. Um, you know, I think that's kind of, uh, it's, it's, I, I, you know, it's artists, we're all sensitive people, you know, it's uh, so being able to be told that, you know, something connected with somebody and it resonates with them is, is special. It makes it all feel worth it.